What's up everybody, this is Danny. And Holly. And welcome to our Smart Kitchen Tour. So we have a lot to show you. We have some Samsung, we've got some Google, maybe some companies that you may have never heard of before. But I first wanna start with the kitchen counter and the outlets from our channel sponsor, Legrand. So if you're a fan of the channel, then you've probably already seen this amazing wireless charging outlet from Legrand. This is a part of their Radiant series and they're expanding on that this year for the kitchen and the rest of your smart home. This is their new smart outlet. And if you looked at this, you would probably wouldn't even think twice because it looks just like a regular outlet. But all of the Wi-Fi and smart switch connectivity is built inside and there's a power button right here that you can control it with physically if you want to, or you can pair it up with the app, which is really, really easy to do, by the way, one of the easiest setups in the world. But this to me is exactly what embodies smart home. You want it to look like a normal product on the wall, but it has smart functionality built in. It's very incognito, but you have everything that you need built right in. And it is true, you can just put a smart plug into the wall and get the same functionality, but this is so much cleaner. So if you're thinking about remodeling a kitchen, this is perfect for that. So my setup with this in the kitchen is I have this set up through the app where at seven o'clock every morning, I schedule it to turn on and I have my kettle plugged in and it's boiling for me right when I get downstairs so that I can start my coffee routine and get myself ready for the morning and the day. But it'll work with any appliance or anything that's plugged in. It works exactly like a smart switch. And we're also in the planning process of building a smart kitchen out on the porch. So the smart switch with GFCI is a perfect addition as well. And the first thing that I notice is this product is built for business. It is thick, it is robust. There are three plugs on the end and there's also a switch there if you wanna control it manually. What I like about this is that this connects just like the Radiant light switches and the smart outlets. So you can fully control it through the app. You can schedule it if you like. So right now what I'm using it for is holiday lights outside. I can schedule them to turn on and off at any time with sunrise and sunset if I want. And you don't have to worry about safety with that ground fault protection. That's a big one. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to Legrand's entire Radiant collection and these products. They're perfect for the kitchen and outdoors. I've been using these products for years. I would not recommend anything that I don't use. And these are absolutely legit. So as the main kitchen voice assistant slash hub, I am using the Nest Hub Max. Man, they changed the name so many times, not even sure what to call it. But there are a few reasons why I'm sticking with it. First, I love the big display. The sound is pretty good from it as well. And I also love that there's a camera built into here so it fits into my Nest ecosystem. So I can use this as a security camera to get this vantage point from the kitchen to the living, which is great. So I don't have to add an extra camera, which is nice. I have all of my automation set up through Google Assistant and the lighting in here is Philips Hue because I like that crisp white lighting and I wanna be able to change my white balance at any time. Really important for the kitchen in my opinion and it's super easy to control. Oh, go get Turn off kitchen lights. Okay, next up is the smart faucet and you might've seen this already on my social media but this is the Kohler Sense8 and this is a Wi-Fi connected smart faucet but it works perfectly as a regular faucet. It's all touchless. This is perfect. It's really, really easy to use. And this paired with the Simple Human Sensor Pump makes it a touchless hand washing experience. And that is really, really fantastic, especially in these times. So this is all connected with the Google Assistant so you can control it by voice. And it also does measured pours. So if you wanna just fill up the coffee pot with a voice command, you can definitely do that. So it does come in handy. So the thing that gets used the most in our kitchen is our oven. And this is the Samsung Flex Duo. And there's a meaning behind that name. And it's my favorite feature of the oven. So it looks like a normal oven, right? Until you do this. You have this small compartment that's great if you're cooking, you know, small meals and all that. But if you have a family and you need more space, you can remove this dirty tray. <laughs> Then you have one big cavity that is gonna be one temperature. You put the tray back in and that is gonna give you 
and you can hear it beeping because it knows the difference when that's in versus when it's out. Then say if you want to cook chicken at the top at 400 degrees and then your potatoes at 450, you can do that. So essentially it's an oven that turns into two ovens. So let's take a look at our microwave. But it's not just a microwave. It's actually a combo microwave and it's an oven. It's a convection oven. It has a air fryer setting. This thing does pretty much anything you want it to. And you can cook pizzas, you can cook cakes. Example, last Christmas, we were feeding like 16 of my family members and we were able to cook a turkey and a ham in the big oven. And then we did all the sides in this little oven here. So essentially just between these two right here, we have three ovens in this house. It's brilliant. What's up with these? It's cold. All right, to round out the appliances, we have the Samsung dishwasher. Actually, I lied, the oven probably isn't the most used thing in the house or in the kitchen, but it cleans really well. I love the fact that it has the top tray. Our old dishwasher never had that and it's, you can fit so much more in it. All right, let me show you an example of how big the trays are on this. Much bigger than our old one. And like I said, you can definitely fit a lot of dishes, which we create a lot of dishes in this house. Another thing I appreciate about Samsung's appliances is they all kind of mesh really well together, the design of them. It's very sleek, and modern, but it's classic and timeless too. So I feel like these are gonna last a long time with this house. So here's the fridge that we purchased when we first moved into the house. And even though it is first and foremost a smart fridge, it doesn't take away from the fridge functionality of it. So even if this wasn't here, I feel like I would still love this fridge. This just adds to it. Um, the reasons I love it is I love the snack drawer. So we keep things for the kids to grab and go in here. Um, and then you've got the freezer space below and then obviously the fridge space. Uh, another thing to note about this is we got a counter depth so it didn't stick out because we didn't have a whole lot of depth. And even though it's a counter depth fridge, which we've had in the past, we don't have to sacrifice on size just because of the design of the fridge. I feel like it gives the maximum amount of space without it being too deep. When it comes to the smart features of it, I'm gonna let Danny touch more on the technical stuff, but there are a few things that I love about this fridge. First and foremost, you can show off your beautiful kids. Kind of like putting pictures on your fridge without the messy magnets and all that. Or another feature that I like is, say if you're at Costco and you need to see, oh, do I need milk? You can actually log onto the app and look inside of your fridge to see if you have milk. And another interesting feature that it, it pops up messages. If something has been in your fridge for a long time, it will say, hey, milk's been in there for like 90 days, which I don't think we've ever, days. I don't think we've ever had it in there, but I'm just using an example. One of the other features I really like is we have a Samsung TV. We can cast whatever programs they're watching on TV onto the fridge. So when they're sat here at the, the counter, if I'm cooking or doing anything else, they can actually watch a program on here and it keeps them entertained. So I wanna jump in and talk about how all of these appliances tie together and what the smart functionality is of all these appliances. So the heart of everything goes through the Samsung SmartThings app. So you can see all of your different appliances right here. There's even a home care wizard, which shows you like how many times you open your fridge per day and what your average use is. We do have a washer and dryer as well that is made by Samsung and they are Wi-Fi connected. And this one really helps us because we do not have a laundry room inside the house. Don't even ask why, but they are out in the garage apartment and it does help a lot to know when the washing is finished and when the dryer is finished, you do get notifications on your phone or the Samsung Smart Hub fridge, and then you also get them on your TV, which helps a lot because you'll be watching TV, you'll get a notification that comes in and says, hey, your washer is now done. So that is really convenient. This is almost a sneak peek of the Samsung Smart Home, the ultimate Smart Home Samsung tour, which I will be doing. I just gotta add a few more things to make that happen. I know there's gonna be at least somebody in the comments to say, this is overkill. I don't need smart stuff in the kitchen. And you are partially right because the kitchen was running fine without smart stuff, but it does help to a certain degree 
because there are some things on everyday use that you would use, like the dishwasher, for example. There's a nice panel here, and there is an auto mode that kind of detects how much stuff is in here, and it will kind of appropriately set your settings on how long it needs to run. So that's great for energy efficiency. And also, you can schedule this to run at maybe one o'clock in the morning because you're gonna be drawing less energy from the grid, you're gonna save energy, and these little things really do help in the kitchen. So let's talk about some of the difficulties in trying to build a smart kitchen. So even though the appliances and some of the other things are made by the same manufacturer, sometimes they still don't talk to each other. So while I love this Samsung stove for the stove functionality, it is absolutely fantastic. It does not speak to the hood because the hood was designed for a cooktop, like in the middle of an island. So while it does have Bluetooth connectivity, this cannot talk with this. So in a perfect world in the kitchen with the flat top, you turn on the flat top, this kicks on right away. Pretty awesome, but I can't make these two work. So Samsung, please make that happen. If you're a gas stove person like I am, then you will lose a little bit of smart functionality because with the electric versions, you can preheat the oven by voice anywhere in the world, basically with the app. But when it comes to gas, you can't do that because of safety. So just be aware of that when you're picking one up. But personally, I would rather sacrifice that for gas. So much better for cooking gas over electric all day. But it's not all doom and gloom when it comes to the smart stuff in the kitchen because this fridge, is two years old and i think this is actually two generations back but it's running the latest software and it's got the latest version of family hub which is great so the functionality of this older fridge is the same as the newer fridges so if you find a older version on sale then i encourage you to buy it because you're getting the latest software all right so this is a little bit random but these are some things that you definitely need to try in the kitchen and one is an air fryer if you've never used an air fryer before then you are totally missing out because it is absolutely amazing so we had a kasori air fryer prior to this and we used it for like three years so the basket was a little bit loose and things like that but we decided to upgrade to the wi-fi version and this one is pretty much the same a little bit bigger but it has some smart functionality to it I'm gonna be 100% real, you do not need the Wi-Fi aspect of the air fryer, but the price difference is so low that I think it's worth giving a try if you're in the market for one, because all the buttons and everything are just right in the front. So for the most part, you're just gonna set a preset and then you're gonna put it in and the timer's gonna go off. But if you do it in the app, then the timer will start automatically, you'll see it on your phone. So let's say that you're not downstairs and you're upstairs, you'll know when it's done. And if you wanna try out the recipes, that's also another benefit. So. Regardless, it doesn't matter, buy yourself an air fryer. You will definitely thank me for it. Another thing that we're revisiting is the Instant Pot. And we used to use it a lot, but it did break in less than a year. I think we just had a defective one, but then we just kind of gave up on it. But there is a new Wi-Fi connected version of this. So we're gonna give this a try as well. And so far it seems to work just fine. I know a lot of people already know about Instant Pot and there's a ton of recipes that are out there on YouTube and everywhere else. So it's a lot of fun cooking this and it tastes really good. So I highly recommend it. Hopefully this one stays good. So you might be wondering what that bright light is behind me. And that is the Arrow Garden. We're trying to eat a little healthier, especially moving into the new year. So what that is, is basically a hydroponic garden that just fits right into the corner over there. Doesn't take up a lot of space. And so far it's been really easy. They come with these little pods. You just stick them in, put the water in, put the feed in, and it pretty much tells you everything you need to know, like how many days you have before you need to insert more water. So it's pretty much fail proof, unless you're me, because I went on a trip and I forgot to fill up the water and it was healthy like this before I left. And then when I came back, it looked like this. So don't make that mistake. So I hope you enjoyed our smart kitchen tour. It's still a work in progress, but uh, you know, some things you need, some things you don't, but it's nice to have connectivity and some things that help out around the house. So let me know what kind of suggestions that you would make, what products that you've used and what your favorite product was that we showed you today. And if you want us to do a lot more of these kind of tours, then we'll definitely do that. So make sure you hit subscribe, hit that like button, and we will see you in the next one. You got anything to add? Cook me dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Uber Eats again. <laughs>